ก็ผักนี้รสชาติน่าสนใจมากค่ะเคยกินมาก่อนนะคะความหวานจากโคโคแรชชิพเข้าไปในนั้นอร่อยจานต่อไปนะคีนี่สปาเกตตี้ค่ะเชฟบอกเองว่าจานนี้รองทุกอย่างเฮลตี้มากๆเป็นสปาเกตตี้นะคะที่ทำจากคีนี่แล้วก็ใส่ Dry Tomatoes ซอสทำจาก Walnut แล้วก็ Sweet Basil จานนี้พิเศษมากคือมีพีแกนชีสด้วยพีแกนพาร์เมซานชีสตื่นเต้นมากๆเลยอยากกินแล้วนี่ค่ะนี่คือเส้นสปาเกตตี้ที่ทำจาก raw s k i n n y มีรสชีสจริงๆครับก็อย่างชีสพีแกนที่เคยลองมาเราชาติไม่เหมือนชีสเลยแต่มีมีรสชีสจริงๆนะอร่อยมากเชียสมาก This one is really tasty Like the wine pairing is crazy They're like I don't know how they figure out that this particular wine needs to go with this particular food It's crazy Because I saw a couple of guys in the p l e a s e and they said, "When is the meat coming?" <laughs> so it's coming now. เมนูที่รอมานานมินิสตาเกตเบอร์เกอร์ถ้าเป็นคนชอบเบอร์เกอร์อยู่แล้วนะในนี้มีโทเมโลสไลซ์ตรงที่คล้ายๆเนื้อนี่ทำจากเห็ดสตาเกตกินกันเลยสับปะรดจริงแล้วอร่อยมากเป็นดีอ่ะตอนนี้คืออิ่มมากแต่ว่าของมันต้องกินนะเพราะว่า once in a lifetime ใครจะไปรู้ว่าจะมี fun base dinner ที่กรุงเทพอีกทีเมื่อไหร่ดังนั้นถึงอิ่มแล้วก็ต้องกินเราเคยไปที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่ร้านอาหารที่
and enjoying you know drinks and dinner on these beautiful amazing rooftop bars because Bangkok is a city full of these amazing places you have a beautiful nightlife here yeah. and lots of places to wine and dine at and then after I became vegan I did find that there was uh, absolutely no such place for me to ever you know go back to again <laughs> there wasn't right. really at least I knew that there would come a time but this, this would be an option for me but it hadn't happened until the dinner I just experienced so it's a very like it's a huge um, what you I mean I feel really good being here right now because I feel that this is what I was kind of looking for that at least once in a while I'll be able to experience something like this and people of Bangkok in general even if I'm not really fond of so many you know fancy dinners personally but I think people in Bangkok in general love this kind of vibe and it's really great that there's so many plant-based people vegan people in Bangkok now that this couldn't have happened without some kind of a sense of there being a demand for this kind of food this could not have Absolutely. happened like right. just recently as we we all know that there's been uh, a huge amount of vegan imported cheese that has been you, you can see in Bangkok now that couldn't either have happened without you know people sensing that there's a demand for it so of course things are changing and it's for us we cannot really pinpoint how that change happened but we know we're all working towards it and we are able to see the change so this is incredible and this is one of the big events that show this change so I'm so glad that we're witnessing it firsthand you know right so for those people who told me that nothing is gonna change you're wrong <laughs> because we are actually seeing changes happening now history and, yeah. right now yeah it's being it. made <laughs> All right, so let's come back to um, the talk about dinner. So we have five courses. It, wine pairing, it's so good, right? But what is your favorite one? Um, I think for me, the most exciting part was the cheeses, which is not really a surprise because usually that's what vegans are most excited about. But um, I don't think I've ever had a blue vein cheese before as a vegan, and I used to really like that. And I thought they did a really, really good job with it. So I would say the cheese is one for me. Mm. How about you, Valerie? Well, of course the cheese was amazing. And as soon as I looked at it, I was like, wow, <laughs> this is what I spend my money for, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I also enjoyed some other stuff that I'd never had before. Um, basically never had it before I went vegan, which is like a whole new variety of vegetables, which are like sea vegetables. You should look into sea vegetables. They're really nutritious and really, really good for your body. And they can be prepared in like a hundred different types of ways. And one of the ways that um, the chef had done sea asparagus was just brilliant. And I loved that dish. So I really enjoyed it. Mini shiitake burger. Because oh. I'm a big fan oh, of burger. Like that. You really like yeah. that. Yeah. This event is... Bangkok's first ever plant-based dinner. What do you think is the significance of this being the first ever? I think it's it's pretty significant because it shows that um, that people in restaurants and hotels believe that there is a demand and that they're willing to spend a lot of time um, investing in putting events like this together. Um, and the fact that it was sold out is just so exciting. It really shows that an increase in demand. So yeah, it was, it's, I think it's pretty significant. This is the first of its kind, but definitely not the last. And it's only starting a new trend. It's only starting the new um, you know, series of events like this that will happen in the near future more and more. Uh, what I'm really hoping for is this kind of an event to, uh, as it inspires a lot of people, like you were saying, that there are so many people who still eat meat and still eat dairy products and were here today and they, they got a taste of what cheese can be like without using you know, any cruelty or you know, any cow secretions or any, any of those things. Yep. So they, they, they understood that this is, it's possible to eat the great amazing food that they're used to and they don't have to give up on anything and still be able to be absolutely cruelty free. So these events definitely help you make that connection. But I do hope that people make the connection. Uh, this is one of the ways to do it. Um, but they do, I hope that this helps them to go all the way. They do a little more of their own research. Mm -hmm. Once they experience something like this, that feels like, oh, wow, I didn't know that was possible. And then finally be able to make connection to 
uh, why we need to do this, why we need to be vegan, um, not just because it's good for our health, but also because it's the need of the hour, it's the need, we, need, we have to do this for the animals, for the planet, and of course for ourselves. So this is one of the many things that helps us realize uh, and make the connection, but we have to go out there and make that connection ourselves, and mm -hmm. hopefully this will help many people. Right, thank you, Bridie and Valerie, for such awesome responses. So you viewers, like, I hope you kind of like get something out of their responses, which is awesome. I love them so much. All right, I love and that, you too. Oh. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this video. อ่าสุดท้ายนี้นะคะขอขอบคุณทุกๆฝ่ายที่ทําให้เกิดวีแกนดินเนอร์ครั้งแรกของของกรุงเทพขึ้นมาซึ่งก็ได้แก่แอท